the cardiac cycle. We're watching an ultrasound of an inverted heart as it beats. You can see all four chambers and the atrioventricular valves opening and closing as blood flows through the heart. What causes the heart to beat in synchronicity like this? The atria contract, then the ventricles contract, then the whole thing rests for a bit, then once again the atria contract and the ventricles contract. The heart is wired with an electrical system, which we'll discuss in the next video. But in this video, we just want to take a closer look at how synchronized the beating actually is. During atrial systole, the atria are contracting slightly, pushing blood into the ventricles. The atrioventricular valves are pushed open and blood flows into the relaxed ventricles. This phase of the cardiac cycle takes about 15 one hundredths of a second. In this image, the ventricles are contracting, so they are in systole. Blood is being pushed out of the heart, past the semilunar valves, to the lungs, from the right side of the heart, and to the rest of the body, from the left side of the heart. At this time, the atria are relaxed. To prevent backflow into the atria, the atrioventricular valves snap shut. A lub sound is heard. During this stage, the atria are in diastole and the ventricles are in systole. This phase takes about three tenths of a second. After the ventricles contract, the entire heart enters a state of diastole where no contraction is occurring. Blood flows passively from the atria to the ventricles. This lasts for about four tenths of a second. Then the whole cycle starts again. Because there is reduced pressure from the ventricles, the blood that's entered the aorta and the pulmonary arteries tends to backflow. The semilunar valves prevent this from occurring so that the blood continues to flow in one direction only. In this video, we've had an introductory look at the rhythmic coordination of heart movements and how this causes blood to flow effectively through the heart. In the next video, we'll take a look at the electrical system that coordinates this movement.